Hi guys, Mike Day here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In this video, I'm going to break it down for you. How to pour a concrete slab. Stay tuned. guys let's get right to it how to pour a concrete slab hey I'm Mike I'm the owner of this website everything about concrete.com if uh, if you want to come to this page I'll have a link to it down in the description so you could read through it yourself but I thought I'd make a video about it and just go over it with you step one once you've got the slab formed up and you're ready to go you got to figure how much concrete you'll need now I've got a link to a concrete calculator right here on this site so you could use the calculator to figure the concrete that's probably the easiest way just it'll, you plug in the length times the width and the thickness and it'll tell you how many yards you'll need and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a good day with no rain in sight and call your closest ready mix concrete company to order your concrete now I recommend starting early in the morning if you can um, that way it'll give you all day long to get this thing poured and then if you're going to finish it with some type of trial you know it'll give you plenty of time to trial it off before it gets dark now when I order concrete for a slab we usually order fiber mesh in the concrete for reinforcement instead of using wire mesh that's why you don't see any wire mesh in this slab here so we'll get the fiber mesh in the concrete and then we'll put a double row of rebar around the outside edges as we're pouring. We'll sink that down into the concrete. So the first thing you do when the truck arrives is you back the concrete truck up to the slab. Um, the second thing you're going to do is when, you, when you're pouring the concrete, you want to pour the concrete at about a, what we call a 5 or a 6 inch slump. That's a good workable slump. The concrete driver will know this when you tell him you don't want to pour it too stiff and you don't want to pour it too wet. Too stiff would make you work way too hard and pouring it too wet will just weaken the concrete make it more likely to crack. So the next thing, step three, is first of all, I mean, make sure you got the right equipment. Make sure you got concrete boots on. Make sure you got gloves on. I'll have a uh, I'll have a list of the concrete tools you'll need down in the description. I'll also have down in the description, I'll have a link to uh, my course, how to form and pour a concrete slab, just like the pros do. And this is a video course. I made it of us pouring and, and forming and pouring a concrete slab. So it, it'll walk you right through the steps. Once you've taken this course, it's it's ninety seven dollars, but it'll more than pay for itself and what you'll save in time and money. It's well worth it. So I mean, go down there after you go through this and and get that course, and you'll be all set. Um, so once we get the concrete truck backed up, we tell them the slump we want. We stop pouring the concrete out, and what we normally like to do is for a slab this size. This is about a twenty six by twenty six slab. We like to pour out about half the slab. You know, enough, enough. We like to get enough concrete on the ground so we got something to work with. Then what we'll do is we'll take a mag float and we'll smooth out the edges. And we'll also see you got, my guy right there is with his mag float there. He's magging the edges around the board. We'll also put a metal pin in the middle, right here. See that metal pin? And that metal pin has a nail through it. Those pins have holes in it. We'll run a string from the top of board over here to the top of board over here. And we'll put that nail in right at the level of the string. And that'll give us the level of our pad right in the middle. So once we get enough concrete out, we can mag a what we call a wet pad right around that metal stake that's even with that nail. And that gives us the exact same level in the middle as the top of the board. Now the reason for that is 
we need that pad in the middle so we can strike a wet pad. We call this a wet pad right here from the top of the board to that, that wet pad in the middle to give us something to straight edge by here. Now we have the top of the board to straight edge on the outside by, but we need something in the middle. So once we have that, we'll take, we, this is a 14 foot straight edge. We'll have one guy on one side, one guy on the other, and they'll just level the concrete using those two pads right there. And we'll just keep going. You know, we'll do one side, then we'll move over and we'll do the other side, and then we'll finish the other half of the slab doing the same way. We'll just strike the, strike the concrete off using the pad, using the top of the form, until we get the whole thing down and get it level. And once we've got it leveled, now it's time to smooth it out. And what we use to smooth out the surfaces, we'll use this thing right here called a bull float. A bull float is just basically a, almost like a, a big mag float hook that you can hook some handles to. So we'll just push that thing out and then we'll lift it up and pull it back. And what it does is it, it pushes down the rocks and it brings up the cream. Start it right here. You just push it out. You tilt it up a little bit in the front. You push it out. Then you, you lift the handles up and it picks up the back edge a little bit so it doesn't dig in. You pull it back. And you can go over it once or twice, whatever it takes to get it smooth. Now the next step, after we get the whole slab smooth like that, is most of the guys we work for, they want these anchor bolts in there so they can bolt down their sill plate. So we'll just sink those anchor bolts in. We'll put one on each side of the corner and then we'll go about every four feet all the way around the slab. And that'll give the people who are building the slab something to anchor that first sill plate down with. And that's basically it, guys. That's, that's how to pour a concrete slab step by step. And you can refer back to this page if you want to um, on my, my site, everythingaboutconcrete.com. And it'll be under pouring a concrete slab. I'll have a link in the description to this page. I'll also have a link to the course, how to form and pour a concrete slab just like the pros do. And also, if you, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button so you can keep getting my videos as I make new ones. And also hit the bell notification. That'll tell you when I come out with a new video. Um, that's it, guys. Thank you.